Hi guys, welcome to Snakes and Adders. Today we're going to drill down on potentially one of my favourite rat snake species of all time. This is a Steppes rat snake or Dione's rat snake. Uh, Latin name is Alafi Dione. It's one of the few rat snakes to retain the Alafi name. Uh, when they, the taxonomists, as they always do, screwed about with stuff and decided to change a load of names, this was one of the few species that retained the name Alafi. Um, a load of other families were created, whether they be Pantherophis, Rhinetchis, Oreocryptothis, Orthriophis, uh, Colignathus, all these other ones that decided to just try and mess with our tongues and pronunciation, and this is one of the few that retained the original name of Alafi. So, uh, this is potentially one of the easiest rat snakes to keep. We did a beginner snake guide and this is the only other rat snake really that is a direct competitor to corn snakes for being the easiest of all rat snakes to keep. I think they're absolutely fabulous. They're a little bit left field, worthy of far more attention than they currently get and uh, loads of people are beginning to switch on to them we're getting some morphs and localities coming through they're ace watch this space Dione's rat snakes are coming so Dione was the mother of Aphrodite in Greek mythology so that's the etymology of the name that's why we call them Dione's so people would call it Dione but to be honest if it's Aphrodite then really it's going to be Dione working on the pronunciations of the uh, Greek gods They've got a far wider distribution than people sort of realise. The type locality is uh, listed as, I've got to try and get the pronunciation right, semi palantinsk district in Kazakhstan. I've no doubt cocked that up, but that's the type locality. They're also known to occur in eastern Ukraine, south and southeastern Russia, far eastern Russia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Northern Iran, Korea, Mongolia and Northern China. Whew. Big old range. Females generally reach between 90 and 100 centimetres in length, rarely to 120 centimetres. The Chinese localities are known to get slightly bigger and they could be up to 160 centimetres. The males are smaller at 75 to 80 centimetres and maybe 100 centimetres for Chinese animals. They've got a broad ranging diet of mice and rats of appropriate size. They'll also take quail egg. Uh, their appetite is very reliable and very regular. Um, they do have an incredibly deep hibernation. We want to be hibernating them at between 8 and 12 degrees Celsius for three or four months. Um, and when they come out of hibernation, they will feed voraciously, particularly the females, to try and gain the weight and the fat stores ready for giving birth. As with all other rat snakes, they are egg layers. Um, the incubation temperature only wants to be about 26, 27 degrees Celsius, uh, which is a good three or four degrees cooler than we'd keep a lot of the other colubrids. Uh, and then uh, normal basking temperatures for our animals is going to be around the 26 degrees mark. Uh, and they must have the opportunity to cool down and move away from that. Um, there is no formal subspecies listed, although there is a group of localities generally accepted and worked with within the hobby. So there are Altai, China, North Korea, South Korea, the Caucasus regions. And then the morphs, whether uh, generated or naturally occurring, would include the nigrita form, which is obviously black, uh, Now and that's now pretty much widely accepted, that's North Caucasus region, the Tenebrosa which is grey and black variant that could be blotched or striped, Eastern Kazakhstan, uh, and then there's obviously blotched and striped variants of the different localities as well as high reds, high yellows and high oranges, and the high reds, high yellows and high oranges are obviously the most coveted. Um, they are incredibly tame, incredibly easy going. Because of the temperatures that they can sustain themselves at, this makes them hardy. They feed readily. Um, they are absolutely fabulous snakes. Really, really chilled out and calm. There's no panic in them, and this is what makes them fantastic pets to keep. Hardiness is a huge thing, and being able to keep an animal and raise it throughout its life in good health is you know at the prerequisite of our care and what makes animals more difficult is being able to cope with stress cope with being handled being fed being maintained and kept and Dione's rat snakes take it all in their stride super chilled out super laid back well worthy of research well worth looking into 
So, it's Alafi Dione, or Dione's Rat Snake, or Steppy's Rat Snake. Well worthy of having a look at. We'll keep the videos coming. Visit www.snakesnowdays.co.uk to see what we're all about, and we'll keep the videos coming. Cheers, guys.